I think you're right. Your daily oh. Yeah. Hey, it's the program again. We were out on TV. We had a little mistake. But we're doing it again. We lost 10 minutes. We don't need to admit that. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Look no, who it is. But yeah, that happened. Look who it is. There. He's there. Hey, everyone. It's. We're all warmed up and ready to go. Big, big Bird. Anybody calls you Big Bird? Uh, there's one person who calls me that. Yeah. Kyle. Big Bird. Hey Kyle, I miss you. What's with the name Bird? Did you name it? Did you name yourself Bird? I think I already asked yeah. you that, but yeah, it's it's because I um, I want to save the world and I have like uh, ego insufficiency complex and uh -huh. so I want to you know act like I'm special basically. Yeah. So did you want to fly fly free? Yes. Like a bird. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, good. sort of. It's not like that. It's more like, um, it's not a really about freedom or, or you know, the freedoms that birds have to fly. But it's more like vision and like feeling like uh, having a different perspective. Yeah. Um, so, and being able to see things, you know, from more than one angle, uh, and the the wisdom that that can bring so did you get did you get your parents to call you bird nope no nope. call you bob they call me robbie robbie yeah rob rob robbie my dad called me bumper still calls me bumper 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 yep is it is that from yeah. when you were a baby and you bumped into things yeah it was like when i was in the womb and i was a, I kicked when I was prenatal. Huh. Yeah. So. Wow, you have a, that's a long nickname then. Yeah. From the womb, nickname from the womb. Yeah, pre-birth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, how's it been, you've been the last couple of days? You do uh, any uh, swimming? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I went to Burfoot Beach yesterday and swam for like the second time I've lived around here for 10 years and it was like the the first time that I swam in Bud Bay I think um, and it was really nice the water was warm right right there it was pretty calm and so the sun was heating up the water and I went in it was cold and I I made some noises and flapped my arms a little bit and it took about five minutes and then I I submerged and I thought in a way that was very graceful and uh, and it felt really good and it like my skin it, was, it felt good on my skin yeah the salt water did something like just felt clean and it doesn't get you salty when you dry off yeah I was salty and then I took a shower later on and rinsed it off and and uh it was good. I I had really smelly armpits, and I I scrubbed them just with the salt water, and it seemed to cut down the smell a lot. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Nature's bath. The yeah. ocean. Yeah. Nature's tonic. Go swimming. It's a hot day. It's beautiful today out. Yeah, like very today hot would outside. Be good for swimming too. So. Freshwater swimming. I don't. I don't ever been swimming Summertime. in the. You can. Uh, I guess open open your eyes in the salt water. Get. Uh, yeah washes them out yeah yeah the neighbors stopped by before that was cool yeah yeah we lost 10 minutes we did 10 minutes of the show and then we dropped it with the neighbors did they stopped by and said hi but they're uh, they're gone off tape forever we, we missed some them so technical difficulties forgot to press the button well that happens and we called the satanists yeah yeah we should listen to that say we'll listen to the drumming. satan message again this move and we rolled double deuce on the dice. Oh yeah, well we're gonna we're gonna redo the dice game though. Yeah. So that that doesn't even count. So we. Uh, oh, Dan Dobler tried to call us just now. What else? Oh, oh, what else is going on? Well, I saw a freaky bee earlier. Now I'm hearing. Uh, I think that was a fly. Okay. I used to be allergic to bees. I don't know if I still am. Maybe I shouldn't tell anybody that. It's gonna be my. Uh, they're gonna be my uh, enemies or something. You guys are gonna try to get me stung. 
out there, the viewers, but don't, I don't know if I should be revealing weaknesses. But I think uh, that bees don't really respond to vengeance. Right. They just they they're just doing their business, and yeah. as long as you don't bug them, they're they'll just keep on keeping on. I used to be allergic to bees, but that was many years ago when I got stung. I don't know if I still am. I think it might go away. That's what I heard. I think that it's like, uh, from what I've heard, if you're allergic, it gets worse and worse. Oh, no. And so if you get stung again, you'll have an even worse reaction than the previous one. Oh, no. Yeah. Hi, Kitty. This is Dan. I'm going back. All right. It was called Dan. Dan Dobler. Dan. What's up today? What's happening? And good luck in fast bucks. Uh, too far and too few between. Uh, Merle Haggard. Good old Merle Haggard. Do you do, do you do vinyl? Not so much. We got this record. We got the record from the Memory Boys. They gave it to us. But we don't have a, a vinyl. I know a couple people Hi, who have. Hi, you've reached the cell phone of Dan Dobler. Please those. leave a message at the beat. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Dan. It's the program. Uh, you can call us back. Yeah, great, thanks. Okay, bye. That was Dan Dobler. He didn't call us back, though. Here, let's try to call the seat and let's go one more time, too. So, Dan, we'll put a little bit, a little bit yeah. of telephone tag here. We can rebound from our... Uh, earlier efforts to tape the show unsuccessfully. We only lost 10 minutes. It's okay, it's a beautiful day. There's a nice breeze flowing in through the garage. And no effort is ever wasted. Yeah. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Satanist guy, it's the program again. Uh, I don't think I left you a very clear message last time. We're going to shoot on Sunday the 15th for episode 666. Uh, that's this Sunday. It's in like a couple of days here. We're going to be on the west side. Uh, I think we're going to do the show maybe in the afternoon or if that's okay with you. You can call us back. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Episode 666 pretty soon here. That I just... I also noticed that that OSB board is made in Canada, and it was made on my birthday. Yeah, Canada. It's imported from Canada. Made on my birthday from my factory in Canada. Let's call Freddie here, find out about the production end. Freddie. This is going to be our last day in the studio. Tomorrow we're gonna be in the new studio. Yeah, I was gonna help you move today, but it didn't work out timing wise. Yeah. That's okay. Hey Bailey Howard, how's it going? Hey Freddie, it's the last day of the studio. Yeah, cool. It's, uh, how's it how's it going there? Are you feeling um are you missing it already? You missed the old studio already? Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to establish some nostal uh, or nostalgia in my mind for this moment. This neighborhood is so yeah. great. Yeah, it is. We're leaving the neighborhood. But it's going to be closer to... Figure out a way to take a picture of it and, you know, remember it forever. Yeah, <laughs> we don't need to take a picture of it. We have uh, billion, probably, I would say, billions of pictures. <laughs> of the neighborhood? Yeah, or of the studio. This is just such a small corner of the neighborhood, though. Yeah, we can take some pictures of the neighborhood. The neighborhood's still going to be here, though. The studio won't be, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have a lot of pictures of the studio. Um, yeah. How's... Uh, our bird went swimming in the Puget Sound today. Have you ever done that? 
Oh, no, I haven't. How was it? Did you, was there any slime in there? Um, it, the water was really nice, I thought. It was, it was warm, and it felt, I mean, it wasn't, what like, warm. But it go in? Is it, like, over in the uh, industrial district, or where? No, I went to Burfoot Park. Have you ever been there? No, I never have. That's it's cool. I, I, I've been to Burfoot Park, but I've never been over um, it's really in the pretty. water there. Hey, Freddie, guess a number. It's the dice game. Uh, I'm going to stick with my number from yesterday and go with six. Oh, uh, we both won. The numbers yeah. are four and six. Yeah, four and six. But not bird. That's bird nice number. one. Bird I lost. lost. <laughs> Sorry, bird. Yeah. <laughs> previously determined. Yeah, six is from this out, angle, you, it's actually all like four and six, and then four and six over there, too. See? Four and six, and then four and six. Yeah. There they are. So uh, me and Freddie have one point. Yeah, I, yeah. I I never went swimming. It seems kind of gross to me to go swimming in the in the sound, but I guess a bird seems like it wasn't that bad. Freddie, it's we probably okay. I mean, it just sounds bad because it's a tide got tide tidal flats and stuff, uh, mud flats. But mud flats are probably good for you, probably. Yeah, Burfoot is like really nice. Like oh, good rocks there. Good rocks. And hey, Freddie, did w did we tell you that uh, we started the show and we forgot to push the record button? Yeah, we lost ten minutes oh. for like ten or fifteen minutes. We rolled double oh, deuce. Man. How are you gonna get that time back? We rolled double deuce. We rolled double deuce, but we. Uh, didn't count it because we were recording. We decided that no effort is ever truly wasted. It's true. I mean, now you guys are, you know, already uh, warmed up and ready for the, the episode. You got 10 minutes extra uh, practice. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we got some it was practice. A good interview, though. Kenny was asking me about my name. We I think that, that was, part. no, I think that was at the beginning of this actual episode. Oh. Yeah. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's the hard thing is now you can't remember what happened in real, like what actually happened in the episode and what was beforehand. Yeah, yeah but it's all real anyway. Happened. It all goes out into the collective consciousness, you know. But it's true, but if you Human reference something that isn't on the episode, the viewers aren't going to know what's happening. Yeah, that's They're true. Yeah, you. like... The neighbors came over and stopped in and said hello. But we lost it. And it's gone. It's no one else is going to be able to share in that experience. You know, in besides through the collective consciousness in our dream hey, dream world. They came to say goodbye to the studio. They're like, oh, we've been the neighbor. Now it's time to go. See you later, program. Yeah. We're going to get new neighbors now. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's poetic in a way. How's that uh, production end coming, Freddie? Oh, it's going good. Um, ideally, I would like to get that episode from you um, that you guys are recording right now, today's episode. I'll try to get that from you today because I'm going to be leaving town on Saturday and not coming back until Wednesday. So if I could get Wednesday's episode scheduled, that would be perfect. What are you doing right now? You could come over. He's at work. <sighs> well... Maybe uh, maybe I can give the tape to Desmond, because he's going to be there at 5. Are you going to be there at 5 still? Oh, I totally will be here at 5 still. So maybe that'll work out. Is Desmond there at the studio? Or? No, he's not, but I'm going to try to find him. I was talking to him earlier. Or or I can just give you the tape. Or, or no, you want to have it. What time do you get off of work? Ben. What? Uh, 10 p.m. 10. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'll get it to you somehow by 10 p.m. Sounds good. Cause you do it at the oh, studio, I right? Tomorrow. I work tomorrow too, so I can capture it at home. I can pick it up from work. Oh, uh, okay. Pick it up. Well, you'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get it, it to right. you. We'll get it to you at some point. So the the LA trip is not going to affect the production then. Then. Um. Yeah. Desmond. I'm going to try to get Desmond to do the uh, YouTube thing. But other than that, I, I think that uh, he doesn't have to capture or edit. So for right now, it, it'll be an easy thing. Oh, good. 
And we also, we talked to the Satanists. They're going to be here on, on the 15th here on 666 in the new studio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and also tomorrow, tomorrow Luke and Duck Hugger are going to be here. And they were here on the first episode that we turned around. <gasps> Whoa. They're going to come to the new studio, huh? That's, yeah. That's actually probably more convenient for them. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Turned around. It's so random that that happened. Yeah, well, we used to be on the other side, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. And we yeah. turned around. Good decision. And now we're moving again. All right, well, thanks, Freddie. Hey, yeah, thank you, program. Hey, oh, uh, one production question really quick, and then I'll let you go and get back to work. Um, but I was just going to see, uh, have you been paying attention to the YouTube? We've been uploading the, the commercials uh, on the day before. Has, has you, have you heard anything about how that's working out? Did you notice that at all? I saw it on YouTube, but I, I don't know. Good. Oh, yeah, how, what do you think about that? I liked it. Yeah, I think I saw it posted on Facebook. Bird is a pretty uh, avid, one of our most avid uh, internet people, I would say. Oh, yeah, thanks, Bird. Yeah. I, I, like the, I think the commercials are good because you can kind of see what's going to happen tomorrow. And then if you're trying to find an episode that you're looking for, maybe the commercial would be a good way to find out what happened. Yes. Totally. Okay. Thanks, well, Ray. Uh, Paul McDonald. Not yet, but we'll we'll talk to you tomorrow on the show. Bye. Have a good time. Good. There he goes. That was Freddy. Bye. I I'm I should got a sandwich. I'm feeling like I want a sandwich now. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to stop recording and go get a sandwich and come back? No. Uh. <laughs> no. We gotta shoot through the show. Sometimes I have food on the show, though, you know. Yeah, me too. I'm kind of hungry, too. I I ate uh, peanut butter toast be right before coming here. I had some cereal. i just been eating out of the bag. I don't like milk. You know, the milk freaks me out. I've just been eating cereal. You don't like milk, huh? Yeah. How about no. soy milk? Nope. No, mi no milk? Not soy milk. I like horchata. What's that? Like that rice kind of rice milk, but not the stuff, it's not like Mexican restaurants, you know? Oh, yeah. That yeah. stuff is good, but regular milk freaks me out. It's out of the, I don't think it's natural, doesn't seem natural. How are you mm -hmm. making that? It's pointing the camera at the TV. Is it the rug that's doing that? The rug? That is so cool. What a design. Yeah. How is that? I mean, I don't understand how it's doing that. Uh, I don't know. It's gone now. It's, uh, so we check all the messages. We did that one. Dan didn't answer his phone, though. We can call uh, Luke and Duck Hugger, though. They're supposed to be here tomorrow. At the, they're not here at the new studio tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I thought I was going to help you move today. Is everything in here uh, yours? Mm, most of the stuff. Not the, I don't know about that bike. I don't know where that... Other stuff? I think everything except for that bike. What about those uh, sporting goods over yeah, there? Yeah, the golf clubs, those are mine. Nice. Those are, yeah. Do you golf? My dad My dad likes to golf. I golf. I have golf. Nice. Those are my dad's old things, actually, though. I like golfing. I've only golfed a few times, but it's pretty fun. Can you do it? OK. Um, I, I've hit a couple really nice balls, you know, hit, hit them nicely. I like the, uh, the driving range. Yeah, I, I prefer the irons. Yeah. Rather than the drivers, but that's just me. I like the ones that make the ball go really high. And I like the wedge. The wedges? wedges and making it go like a nine iron. I don't know. I probably prefer a four or a five iron the most. Like a nice, you know, I'm not very strong, but I guess you don't need to be strong. It's more about like form and stuff. I don't know. Form and stuff, yeah. I'm trying to find Luke's, Luke's number. Something went wrong with the, with the phone system though, so I gotta find the number again now. Oh, oh, oh there's a commercial break. 
Oh. Commercial break. Dance, holy dance. Dance, holy break dance. dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah, the next one's in August. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All of us. Immersed in the Internet. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer in monitor the becomes internet. an extension of our consciousness. We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. Yeah, in a certain way. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking at the calendar there? Mm, no, I wrote down the number. We're going to call Luke. They're going to be here tomorrow. Luke and Duck Hugger. At the studio, the new studio. You want to help us move out tomorrow, Bird? Uh, depends. What time? I'm not. I'm not sure. I think we're we doing it in the, in the uh, afternoon, probably around noon, 11, 11 to noon. Eleven or new or something. Listen to the phone ring, trying to call Luke. Oh, that's pretty nice outside. Some trees and stuff. Something's gone weird with the thing. Hey, Luke and Duck Hunger, it's the program. You're scheduled to come on the program tomorrow. We're moving to the west side, though. We're going to have a new studio. We're going to move, move in the, to, to the new studio on the other side of town, so it'll be the first day there. I'll give you directions. You can tell me about it, though, but it'll probably be around the same time. Uh-oh, I don't know what's going on with this thing. We lost it. I think I might have Luke's cell phone. I'm going to try to call Luke's cell phone, too. Tell them about coming on tomorrow. Or not. Maybe not. Well, yeah, that'll be good. Tomorrow we're going to be at, at the new place. We can call it Sadie. It's going to be where she is. Consciousness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, we're in a crazy zone. Red zone. Yeah. Eight zero eight. Oh. Phone number. Not available. It's a personal At the tone, thing. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang. Or press one for more options. Well, thank you for those. Hey, say it's a program. Call us back. We're going to see you about the new studio and stuff. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, those people, they're not answering today. Very nice instructions. Oh, hey, people. Yo, what's up? <laughs> so, uh, how about... I don't understand that <laughs> voicemail. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we're doing great. We're, we are great. 
I want to hear about this. Uh, Life is great. Humanity. I want to hear about the the initiative. I think that we yeah. didn't talk about it. Because yeah. We missed it. Yeah. yeah. The the initiative. Uh, well, it's it's great. Um, lots of news, and uh, the the big news is that 15,000 signatures have been submitted to the auditor. Uh, almost 4,000 were submitted May 1st, and last Friday, another additional 11,000 plus were submitted. Sadie. Hey, what's up? It's the program. What's up? Are you guys in my garage yet? No, this is the last day at the studio, at our old studio. Nice, nice. Sweet. Well, I was going to call you today. Did you guys, like, clear the garage or anything? We did some of it. You can go check it out. We're going to be moving in there tomorrow. We moved some stuff around, and we're going to be going in there tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm going up to Port Tom oh, Sorry, I see. I'm going up to Port Townsend tomorrow, but I'll be around for, like, the first part of the day. Oh, yeah, you might yeah. you might see us there. Sweet. I'm stoked. It's going to be awesome. Bring, bring us cookies. Cookies? I'll, I'll get some cookies. Yeah. Sadie's a baker. Yeah. Yum. Who's with you? Who's uh, on the program it's, today? It's Bird. Bird. Who? Bird. Robert. Hi. Uh, okay. Bird. 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 Hi. Robert. Hey. Robert? Yeah, Robert. Are you enjoying the summertime? Are you enjoying summertime? Kind of, yeah. Kind I'm of. drinking a beer out in the sun. Whoa. It, it's hot. Have you gone swimming in Puget Sound yet? What? No, fuck the Puget Sound. It's too cold. No way. I went yesterday. It was super nice. I recommend it. Uh, Priest Point okay. Park or Burfoot Park? Both of those. Really good. Go to the north end of Priest Point. Go swimming. Yeah, no, I know. I don't there. think I want to swim in that water. That's what I thought, too, for 10 years until yesterday. I didn't know what I was missing. Seems a little gross, but did you just you just walked in there? Did you decide that you were going to do it before, or you just like... Yeah, I was like, I need to go swimming. Forget this. Enough of this fear. <laughs> enough of this aversion. I'm just going to do it. And, you, and you, you did it, and you think it was a good idea? Definitely. Happy with it. Yeah, I mean, you know... I go to the river. I go swimming in the river. That's yeah. too cold. The river. I like the river going oh. or tubing or the lake. The shoots like Pioneer okay, Park. Can the can lake you, was I'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks, Sadie. Bye-bye. Bye. There she goes. Yeah, I felt like the water had a really refreshing quality to it. Uh-huh. It, it's not as salty as it is in the open ocean or closer to the ocean because there's so much runoff from freshwater rivers and creeks and streams. Less uh, salty. Yeah, it's less salty around in this area, and I, my skin just felt really good afterward. It felt like it was, uh, you know, I don't know, like therapeutic and very refreshing experience. It's, you know, that's good. So, yeah, yeah, here we are. It's here almost are. uh, yeah, the tomorrow is public power. Oh yeah, yeah. What tomorrow? happened to that? Tomorrow's the 13th, Friday the Friday 13th. Friday the 13th, and it's going to be the Ramadan special. We're doing Ramadan. Oh. And uh, there's something else special. There's like a music. There's a musical performance tomorrow night somewhere. I forget what it, what it is, but there's like some local bands playing there's somewhere. There's musical performances every night, probably. Probably, yeah, but it's like Friday the 13th, so it's special. Oh, well, spooky time. So around. Ramadan starts tomorrow. For uh, for the viewers and oh. for us, we're going to be celebrating Ramadan tomorrow. It's the Ramadan right. special. Is that the Ramadan sign? Right. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do for Ramadan. Happy Ramadan. I've been trying kind of passively for the past couple of weeks to find a, a, a Muslim to tell us about Ramadan, but I haven't been able to track one down to tell us about Ramadan. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do for it. We might just say it and... Well, Continue to try to figure out what it's about. Probably information, you know, <laughs> on the internet and stuff. Yeah, but we want to find. I want to find a person. I don't want to just do the internet stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's more interesting if you have someone who can tell you about it. Yeah. I, yeah. Huh. We're trying to find somebody. I know a couple Muslims. I could maybe ask them. Yeah, ask them and call us and have them tell us. Yeah, no guarantees. You want to roll the dice? Yeah, here we go. This is how you shake the dice. Yeah. Or like this. Here we go, here we go. Bang! Oh, yeah! Five and a six. Five and six. Oh, uh, you won, and Freddie won. Freddie's got two points. He's really killing it today. Yep. So I have one point. Bird has one point. Freddie has two points. Winning. I just have, what if, if you put your glasses over the camera and then you look at the TV, does it look clear? Yeah. It does? You can see that? Yeah, I can see the difference there. Yeah, but can you see, does it look clear? No, it's not like your prescription. I mean, I'm not blind. It doesn't seem to change that much, yeah? I probably need new, new glasses. These have little, some scratches and the paint is coming off. Um, anyway. You know your number? 1820 or something? What do they call it, you know, the 2020 vision? Oh, yeah. Some people, know. you have like 1220 or something. 2020. Yep. 1820, that was the street address of the house I lived in when I was, we moved there when I was eight. Yeah. So, how about that initiative? I don't think you haven't, still haven't really explained it too much. Yeah, so, no, yeah. Well, we, we explained it on the first take, that the non-tape take. And uh, non take tape, well, mm, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, so we the campaign turned in an additional 11,000 plus signatures on Friday, bringing the grand total to over 15,000. It's like 15 and a half thousand. And we actually we're expecting results today. So that'll be like a week ago for the viewers. Um, so keep your eyes tuned. I think next weekend is Lake Fair for the viewers. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Maybe I it's think in so. two weeks. Um, yeah, but I think it's next weekend, like the 21st. And so hopefully we'll, we'll have some, you know, good activities to contribute to the Lake Fair festivities and rallying people and really building popular support. It's, you know, it's scary right now because uh, PSC has a lot of money to spend and so they've already started doing that. Um, rumors that they're paying people $75 to participate in focus groups to talk about their thoughts and feelings, ideas, observations. Are they trying to fight you guys judgments. already? They're definitely mounting, uh, they, they've had, they've been working with a consultant group called Soundview Strategies out of Seattle. And um, I think that's what it's called, Soundview Strategies. Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically this group has you know, been doing most of their uh, defense. They've created a citizen advocacy group, uh, three former politicians uh, community leaders have signed on to their efforts and it's, you know, it, there, there's a lot of work to do in terms of educating people about the realities um, about and then convincing them that, you know, opening up the market for competition is a good idea and that we can, we can have a better electrical utility and we deserve that um, one in, one of the things that I that keeps coming to my mind is um, you know I, I talked to a lot of people when I was gathering signatures and one person I talked to a woman she was like oh I don't know about that I don't know and then as she was leaving the grocery store she stopped again and I we talked for a little bit and then she just sort of opened up and she said, you know, I will sign that. My son was just here from Skagway, Alaska. He's the vice president of a small private electrical utility up there. And he said that your system here 
in Thurston Qu County is antiquated. So we have an antiquated electrical system, yet we're paying the highest rates in the state. Okay, what's a, what does so antiquated mean? Antiquated means that it's outmoded, that it's, um, it's like an antique. Oh, uh, it's like they, they should be updating it, but they're not? Yeah, like, so we're spending all this money, and they're not spending it to update the system and keep it current and, and safe and reliable. They're just basically doing the minimum that they can do to get away with without getting into trouble. Um, and the fact is now they are in trouble because people are waking up and saying, we deserve better than this. Well, I'm getting a personal phone call. I'll leave it off. I'll answer it later. You can answer it if you want. I don't want to answer a personal phone call. I'll answer it later. Okay. Hey, thanks for giving me this uh, tape for the $5. Oh, yeah. yeah. I donated. That's another part that we lost. Yeah, we donated we donated $5 to the program. You can go to the, uh, it's on the website. It's ydhwm.co.cc. Um, donate some money because we are trying to raise some money. We have some uh, some goals to meet, and we're trying to get some fundraising going. So if you guys want to send us some money, it's ydhwm.co.cc. If you watch us, you could help us out a little bit. Send us, you know, a couple bucks. And then we can, uh, we're trying to get new, some new cameras. If I think if all our viewers, if you all send in, you know, two or three dollars, we'll have millions. Yes. So yeah, if you all send in, you know, whatever you can, two, three dollars, five dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, whatever you can send in, that would be really great. Yeah, that'd be good. And we can get more stuff. And Bird was our first donor after, even after a, a year or so of having the webpage up there. But it worked sure. out. Yeah, it's a PayPal account, and uh, it was a little frustrating because I've had this problem with PayPal before. I entered the $5, and then I didn't, like, there's a button that you have to hit right away after the donation amount, and then you fill in your billing information. And so make sure you hit the, the little button first before your billing information. Otherwise, you're going to have to submit your billing information again which is a little frustrating but um, you know it works and Kenny called me the next day everything went through fine so you know it's we like, received the five dollars yeah that's awesome and we're, we're uh, gonna put it towards gear we're trying to get new cameras maybe we might go HD camera. HD that would be awesome. If we get some money, we get to go HD. We could go totally digital, solid state. Yeah. That'd be pretty dope. Well, now we uh, are running off of tapes all on VHS. VHS tapes. So I think that's, that's good. We might stick on VHS. We'll get, get some HD cameras going. I like VHS. I think it's got a special charm to it. Yeah. Personally. I mean, HD might, you know, not be as cool in some ways. Not as cool, yeah. It's, it's Oh, man. What's that? See some other? Yeah, it's just a cool sight there, I think. Anyway, yeah, the public power campaign really needs support too and uh, welcomes donations of any kind. There is uh, also a PayPal donation link on that site. Um, and. Uh, you can donate there any amount. What's the what are they going to do? So you got all the signatures. What's happening next? Um, basically, the the signatures, the petitions are all at the county auditor's office, and they are processing them this week. They've been working on them. They started on Monday. They've been doing about two thousand a day. They already had close to four thousand processed. And so we're hoping, they've been doing about 2,200 a day, I guess, 2,100. So we're hoping that they're going to get it done by today, but it might be until tomorrow that they we get the official word that the, the petition is uh, certified to be on the ballot. Um, but we're, you know, pretty much 99% sure that it already is. And even if it isn't, then another 10 days will be allotted to gather signatures. We'd like it to be certified as soon as possible because there's a lot of work to do in terms of the campaign and public outreach and fundraising and everything. That's going to be so in November? 
The election is in November, November 7th. We need to get out the vote. The main job right now is getting people to vote for this. Um, so. Yeah. Do you want a sandwich? Sorry. It's a Friday the 13th Thunder and Lightning and the episode. Phones we're, we're in the new studio. Phones, we're in the new studio. They're Jack at the old studio. Jackson Pollock almost fell on us. Yeah. Didn't see that part. We're on every night at 11.30, so tune in. Yeah. To Channel 22. Meet Cordy. Look out for Cordelia. Thunder. Don't get struck by lightning. Cordelia. <laughs> Yeah, thanks Future, thanks New Studio. So you guys see that? We're in the new studio with all this couch and stuff in the new spot on the commercial. Isn't that good? That's what's happening tomorrow, viewers. So <laughs> it's the election is going to be in November? Yeah, the election is in November. I think it's the, I'm a little, well, I feel a little silly that I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm pretty certain that it's the first Tuesday in November. It's either the first or the second Tuesday in November. Um, but it's all mail-in. So basically it's like September, oh, no. I think it's October 17th that ballots will start to be mailed out. And then people will have two or three weeks once they receive their ballot to get it in. Um, and you can, there's ballot drop boxes around town. There's one in front of Crane Stationery downtown across the street from Gravity Beer Market uh, and by the Kitty Corner from the Food Mart um, downtown on 4th Avenue. I think that's like right at Quint. Um, and you can uh, just throw your envelope in there. The main thing right now is that 51% of the voters need to vote for public power and say yes to authorizing the Thurston County Public Utility District to acquire electrical facilities and uh, do like other, other business relating to electrical utility. But about like 50.5 percent. 50.5 percent. I think that would be enough. I think 50.1 percent would be enough. It'd be nice to get 80 percent. Honestly, I I really do think that it it's not unreasonable to think that. 80% of, of voters might vote for this, considering that it really is a common sense issue. You know, why are we paying more for uh, electrical uh, infrastructure in this county that is antiquated? Why doesn't the company invest in the infrastructure here? Why don't they invest in uh, more living wage, family wage jobs? Um, why do they hire companies to do all the, you know, outside companies to do all the work? Um, why can't they have regular employees? So, is this going to be uh, on the same ballot as like the governor and the president and stuff? Yes, it's a pre presidential election, so likely voter turnout will be high, um, which tends to benefit a popular effort like this. This is something that seems to be popular with uh, people all across the political spectrum. Uh, libertarians, Democrats, Republicans, this is a common sense effort, really. Um, environmentalists, people who are pro-labor, 
this is kind of the intersection of all those interests. Uh, that's why we call it common interest or public interest. Um, really, the only party that stands to lose um, in in any real sense is the people who own the electrical company, uh, who are taking the the money from the county uh, and leaving the county with less than it had before. So, you know, keeping the money in county is something that most people can agree on is a good idea. Yeah. So, and and PSC likes to present themselves as being a very green company. Obviously, that's wonderful to be green, and that's something that we really want to be. But the the reality is is that PSC generates uh, a lot of their electricity using coal, which is one of the more uh, polluting ways to to generate electricity. Yeah. So what else are they gonna do though? If you've ever like seen a coal-fired power plant or been around one, the air around them is pretty dirty. So you gonna you get gonna get solar power, wind power, or something. I saw I saw an ad for <sighs> the government. Well, sorry, I'm just I'm a, I have some some tension when I'm thinking about this. I really want the campaign to succeed because uh, I do think it's for the be be benefit of all ratepayers. Yeah, help uh, uh, get cheaper power, everybody. The um. Saw something about I saw the governor. I saw a commercial for the governor, the first one I ever saw on TV recently. So I think that's that's happening pretty soon. You know about that, the governor race? Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit yesterday on the, on the phone, show. Yeah. yeah, Jay Inslee versus Rob McKenna. Um, Rob McKenna is the current attorney general. Uh, he's a Republican. He's been criticized for uh, aligning basically with the sort of. Carl Rove wing of the of the Republican Party, um, mm -hmm. and What's uh, that? that's like, oh, what what is that? Let me think about that. I I was having a conversation with some people about that and the way Carl Rove operates, and um, yeah, I was having a actually when I was at Burfoot going right before going swimming, talking about how Carl Rove. Um, basically like that's the difference like oh my friend was saying oh have you ever seen this uh documentary about nixon i forget who it was done by have you heard about that there's a documentary about nixon uh about a new one i think it's my, it's like older but apparently it's like i've seen some it shows how nixon like went and met with the war protesters the vietnam war protesters and like you know it was all on tv news and everything and he like he went and like tried to talk with these people and i compared that to what has been happening with what happened with the george bush junior presidency where protesters were basically maligned and and told that they're worthless uh that their concerns are meaningless that they're not worthy of being like acknowledged or validated to any degree and i thought that that is sort of more in line the the carl rove school of political discourse of like being incredibly rude you know i mean it's it's not even like politics because like politics is supposed to be like polite right mm -hmm. you know and carl rove is just like a maniac like a really rude just destroyer a destroyer of of minds and hearts and um, and and human beings. So this guy, the new Republican government, seems like a destroyer. Well, I think he's kind of pulling back from that a little bit, but he he d I think was trying to appeal to that sort of sensibility and really polarize things. And he he f I think as time has gone on, he's seen that that is not polling well currently mm -hmm. with people. I think that uh, the Occupy Wall Street movement may have served to sort of, uh, you know, enlighten or educate people to some degree about how politics works and that it's basically a money game and people are really sick and tired of that and they see the Republican Party as more aligned with the interests of billionaires and multimillionaires than the Democrat Party, which is saying, yeah, well, we think that, you know, people should have health care no matter how much money they make and, you know, blah, 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 and, thing, you know, different things like that. And so 
um, you know, there's there's definite differences there, and so I don't know that much about the the governor's race, but I've been I've been disappointed with the Democratic governor Christine Gregoire on a number of occasions, especially regarding her her approach to uh, global globalization and quote unquote free trade policies. So I yeah, well, I'm going to be trying to call these governor people and try to get them on the show. We'll see if we can get the um. We can get the governor candidates on the show, but like we got the mayor candidates because we are at the Capitol, so maybe we can get them on there. I'm gonna see if they're in the phone book here. Here's the final dice game. Oh, five and one. Oh, is that you, right? Five, yep. right? You won. Five and one. You won. And one to five. You are the winner today, Even. Bird. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. It's it feels good to be the winner today. Do you know how to spell Thank those governors' everyone. names? Yeah, um, Jay Inslee is J A Y I N S L E E. And oh, these are all businesses. I want to find a people. People. Rob McKenna is R O B M C K E N N A. Rob McKenna, Jay Inslee. So yeah, people, you know, vote for vote your conscience. Get educated. Don't believe everything you hear. You know, try to meet the candidates if you can. Uh, learn about them. What find is it? Out where you know. Jay Ensley. Yep. Yep. How do you spell Ensley? I N S L E E. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm on here telling people that they should support Thurston Public Power. Does that mean that if PSE wants to have somebody on your show, they can have somebody on your show? They should. Yeah, like bring it on. Like, let's sit down on your daily hour with me and have a talk. You know, let's let's have a conversation about public power and private power and the demeanor of PSC here, uh, the real sort of politic of uh, how this electrical utility has been operating in Thurston County. I'd like to you know, have that conversation, maybe. Well, I'm not finding this uh, phone number for for the governor people, but we'll call them yeah. soon. Yeah. I'm sure that their campaign websites probably do have a phone number listed. Yeah, well uh, I'm going to try to, this is what we did for the mayor. I just looked them up in the phone book and called their home so I didn't have to deal with their, uh, that's smart, with their things. So I'm going to try to. My guess is they're both either unlisted, but definitely Jay Inslee, his primary residence is not in Olympia right now. Uh, um, Rob McKenna might live here because he does work here, but from what I hear, he works in Seattle more often than the, the governor or the attorney general has an office in Seattle as well, and he might be there. Or he's on the campaign road, so he's not Hello? Hey, McDonald's? Yes. Do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? Do we have what? Arctic orange milkshakes. You know what? You reach the resident, not the restaurant. Oh, your oh. your name is McDonald. Right. Oh. Where? So I have no idea. Oh yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. Oh great! Thank you. Have a good day. Happy summertime. You too. Bye bye. They're doing good. That's good. All right. That was not McDonald's. That was a person. That was a friendly wrong number exchange. They seem nice, though. Yeah. Sometimes people get really uptight when you get the wrong number. I, I just, that always boggles my mind. I, I, it's just like some, sometimes people call me with the wrong number, and I try to be, like, really nice to them. Mm-hmm. Because, like... I've had that where I call the wrong number and people are just like, what? What the heck are you calling me for? Yeah, wrong with you. Yeah, that's not, that's not what makes anybody feel good. Yeah, I know. It's just a mistake. It's, like, it's an honest mistake. People make mistakes. People make mistakes all the time. Hi, yeah, McDonald's. Do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? Arctic orange? I'm sorry? You, uh, do you have the Arctic orange milkshakes? 
That's only Wednesday, uh, two to seven. What is it? What Wednesday, two to seven? You have the or orange milkshakes. Yeah. For the for the concert, you say tickets. The what? The tickets. Yeah. What is your question? Uh, wait, wait, what wanna, what wait, what's with, what tickets do you have? Uh, we have for, uh, for Brian Hall, for, um, Hoshell, and Uncle Cracker, and Chris Young. Uncle Cracker? Yes. Oh, uh, how much are the tickets? No, nothing. That's free, but you need to come in. Um, to the restaurant inside, and that's only Wednesday, two to seven. They give me tickets. Uncle Crackers coming to McDonald's. The North Star, yeah, I think know McDonald's have some. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> uh -oh. What's happening? Yeah, something. We lost our signal. Oh man, are we oh. still? Oh. Yeah, I saw, I saw a crazy spider over here. I was trying to look at it, but I don't know where it went. Man, and then we didn't get to say goodbye to the very nice person from McDonald's who was telling us about the concert tickets. Yeah, she was being nice. I don't know what was, what's with the concert tickets. I don't know what happened to that spider. Somewhere. We're going to get an intern pretty soon. In the su in the fall for the fall we're gonna have an intern we're gonna be making this video about or it's gonna be we're gonna have him edit all together all the McDonald's commercial or the calls and it's gonna be like an hour maybe of, of just calling McDonald's only we're gonna play it at at OFS maybe if we can get in nice that'll be Desmond we'll, let's call him let's tell him tell him about this thing that we're gonna be doing here. He's going to be the intern for fall. Awesome. I think it's going to be one of the last things we do here. And then the program's just about over after this, yeah. Yeah, but we'll have to come see the new studio, Bert. It's going to be on that side of the, the town, program's though. just about oh. over after this. Desmond's year. program. Hey, program. How's it going? Hey, we're doing good here. So you, you're going to be the intern, right, for the fall? Yeah, that's the plan. There's a project. You want, I, I, we have your first project. It's going to be this, um, the McDonald's editing. The McDonald's editing. We're going to do a thing where we, we're, we're going to have you edit. We got to keep going, Kenny. That's we're, too short. We're going to what? We got to keep. Oh, you want to keep a long, longer yeah. show? We're going to have you edit together double. all the McDonald's calls, so that you can watch them in a row. Good. Huh? A McDonald's episode? Yeah. Well, we're, no, it's not, it's not going to be an episode. It's just going to be its own thing. But you're going to edit together the McDonald's calls, and we're going to try to give, submit it to OFS. I'm getting crushed by a robot right now. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> that's hard. That sounds wonderful. All right. Well, thanks, Desmond. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll definitely do that. That sounds great. Um, and I'm really excited to move in. Great. Yeah. And we're going to be in the studio tomorrow. Oh, you want to help us move to the studio tomorrow? Yeah, that'll be easy. I won! Yes! I've been trying to beat this robot all day, and I did it on the program. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, we did it. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, phones. We're back here. Thanks, uh, Facebook. Thanks, Twitter. You on that Twitter, bird? Yeah. What is it? At, at Robert uh, Woodlock? It's at bird, B-E-R-D-W-W. -W. At bird, W-W. Check it out. Thanks, crew. Thanks, viewers. Thanks, TCTV. USA. Thanks to LeBayBay.com. Check it out. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Bye-bye.